let's talk about a positional change here because we have one to talk about here in the man who has no position Isaiah Simmons because his role is going to change here his role is going to change they're saying 100% this year and you know I don't think that it's as crazy as some people say because people are like oh my god they're going to change his whole he was basically a third down linebacker last year guys yeah, it's weird. Now it's like we're officially making him that, that kind of linebacker. Um, defensive coordinator, new defensive coordinator Shane Bowen said, in our minds, he'll be first and second down nickel and then playing money on third downs. So the difference is going to be, you know, last year he came down in obvious passing scenarios, played the linebacker role, that money backer at that point there, came down to passing downs for coverage and blitzing skills. Now, if it's not an obvious one and he comes on the field, he's going to come on as more of a nickelback. Look at this photograph. <laughs> Every time I do that. your eyes get so red. <laughs> um, but what the hell's on Joey's head? What? <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, I feel like it's, it's a weird spot to put him in. But it's almost like if you needed a nickel and you think it might be a run, now you have a linebacker that's basically out there in coverage. I guess there's an advantage to that. But I also look at it as he failed miserably as a safety in Arizona. Like, is that really where we want to put him? I don't know. We've talked about this before. I don't know where the best position is for Simmons. I don't think anyone does, and that's why he hasn't made it in the NFL yet, you know? I mean, that's probably why he's at the money position, you know, on third downs. Like, that's kind of like he's more of the safety net to not let up big plays up the middle. Yeah. And I like That's him good. there. Yeah. I like him there in that position. I think you want to put him as a backup linebacker that comes in obvious passing scenarios because McFadden is just not his strong suit to do that kind of role. Then, yeah, it works. You put the two of them together, they kind of handcuff each other, and they kind of work well. Um, but I just don't think that putting him in nickel is a good idea. I really don't. Unless you're putting him specifically on tight ends or something like that and you want to use him for that kind of coverage ability. But that, that's, that's, that, that's a little scary, and I'm not sure how it's going to work out for them. I'm trying to be optimistic. I'm trying to be optimistic. You know, I don't, I don't want to be the Debbie Downer here. I'm just saying. Yeah, I, think, yeah, uh, yeah. I, just, I just think that I can't be very optimistic about that. I think it's, it's not the right spot for him. But, you know, we'll see what Bowen does, and we'll see if he does right there. But, I mean, am I crazy? Is that the wrong spot, or? I, I'm in partial to it because like we talked about the pickup of this guy that he's a Swiss Army knife in the backfield. Like he's not, he's not the solid guy in any one position, but he is. He, he's, he's a guy that can play all positions, but he's not the guy to play the one position great. He plays so, below average, but not embarrassing everywhere. I mean, we talked a little higher than when we first got him, but like now that we watched more tape on him, like actually playing as a giant, like we could be a little harsher about it, but like I don't know. I think maybe the coach staff may have seen something. They made a lot of moves, and the way with the other players surrounding, you know, having Burns, having um, Thibodeau on the sides on the edges, having different player moves, like it might be something that works out the way they set up the players. Yeah. where it has to funnel to him. We'll see. And it's it's hard to fully judge, I think, because of the fact that, again, Shane Bowen's there as a brand new uh, defensive scheme going to have for the Giants there. So, like, we can go based on what a typical nickel back is at that point, but it's like, do you think that's going to be the role? Is it possible the nickel back is a slightly different position in his defense? We don't know what he's going to do yet because we've never seen a real Shane Bowen defense. We've talked about it before where Vrabel had a lot of say with what happened in Tennessee. This time he's got yeah. full, you know, abilities to do what he wants. He might not have agreed with stuff that was done in Tennessee. So we'll have to see. It's gonna it's gonna be an interesting thing to see how that happens because you know, the first couple of weeks you can kind of see how it's gonna pan out and see if see from there, you know, if, if it's if it's the right spot for him there. But uh, like I said, I'm I got I got some concerns, but I'm trying not to be overly negative. So Thanks for listening to Two Giant Goofballs, a New York Giants podcast. We appreciate your support. Thanks so much.